what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to be talking really quick about the leaked images that came out that i made a video about uh some time ago regarding the creepers lair and this room that i'm sure sydney craven's character lane will end up in at some point in the film this layer of sorts looks to possibly tease what we can expect at the creepers origins being revealed not to say that this is what the creeper is but it gives us a good idea of what we should be looking into when it comes to what this creeper or this monster might be so in the images there were symbols on the walls that kind of had to do with like old religions one of them was this symbol that you see here and this has to do with a god pronounced I, I don't know if it's pronounced this way Oguan now after doing some digging on this this has to do with a a warrior a powerful spirit of metalwork and he's known as the god of iron so we know that this film will be dealing with a lot of voodoo we know that i guess them shooting in louisiana was not by just pure coincidence there's actually some reasoning behind them shooting in louisiana and that has, that relates to the film and its storyline i mean with this voodoo and now signs of that they're going to be exploring a religion that involves multiple gods that are worshipped one such as Oguan. whether or not this will be what the creeper is again i'm not too sure of that i don't think that's what the creeper will be what i want to speculate is that the creeper will be someone who is like somehow connected to these gods of this certain religious background or this religion that they'll address because this is a this is a god that's spread across several african african religions so what i'm thinking is maybe the creeper whatever it ends up being will be one of these supposed gods that will be touched on along with these other gods in this religion just made fictionally canon of sorts because we know that this while this is something that's practiced the oguan god is someone who is documented they can make the creeper a documented god a part of these many african religions in this universe now again that doesn't mean this is what the creeper is he's most likely probably not the god oguan he could be but i don't think he is but the other thing i want to talk about was if they do this this is very reminiscent of those of you who have read the jeebus creepers comics comics the creeper was revealed to be some type of god like somebody that was worshipped somebody that took sacrifices how he ended up going and progressing into what he does now that is yet to be seen i don't know if the film series will ever address such a thing but it was a character named devin who was just going around doing research um stuff something related to the aztecs and he stumbled upon having visions and a, a link with the creeper they come they cross paths the creeper actually speaks in these comics and it's revealed that he's some type of old ancient god that used to get worshipped back in the day so if they take that route i'm not necessarily upset about that i would just hope it would be something a little bit more fresh because being a god and again not to knock us finding out what the creeper is it's just like this goes back to what i what i always say not always but what i believe when i say when we find out the origins of certain things they're most likely not going to be as fulfilling as you want them to be and it's probably better off that we don't know what it is because it's finding out it's an ancient god of sorts well i wouldn't be upset at that it's like okay okay same thing goes back with the cathedral script because the cathedral script revealed it was a phoenix demon again i'm not upset that if you if you ultimately end up telling us what it is but at the same time when you tell us what it is and it's just something very lukewarm like i want to i wish i could be blown away by it but i'm not i'm not going to be blown away by this finding out it's an old god that used to get worshipped it's like I, if you've seen movies in the past past movies where they have origin stories for things like this we find out it's some type of ancient demon which is what the cathedral script would do it was going to do that we find out that it's some type of ancient god and what ends up being more exciting once you have the the origins of these monsters is what they're actually doing and how long they've been around so like the most exciting stuff about the creeper won't be what it is it's the fact that it's been around this long and there's so many different timelines 
in so many different film settings you could put this through because jeepers creepers 2 had this scene been included we could have possibly been speculating on us getting like a jeepers creepers film set in the roman days the fall of the roman empire or something like that that would have been a very cool movie to possibly see a prequel movie that's dated many 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 years ago centuries ago where the creeper is taking down the roman empire or taking on the roman empire so many different things where we could have the creeper creeper films across many different types of uh civilizations different periods of humanity where this thing has just been reigning terror and he's been a prominent factor those are the more exciting aspects of this finding out the origins and finding out oh it's a god or it's a demon it's just like yeah well that's not really something that's all that exciting to me but the images in this layer the symbols on the wall they seem to tease what we can possibly start looking at when it comes to what we should expect from jeepers creepers reborn if it's going to start digging into the origins a bit more these images on the wall do lend us a helping hand in starting to dig at what we should be paying attention to because again we know that there's going to be voodoo uh, we know that the creeper is good with his hands we know that he likes to craft craft things so i'm very curious what they'll do with this i don't know if they'll make make this thing a god that's part of these many african religions or if they'll make this some type of entity that is summoned by a witch in which case that part is something i would completely be against telling us what it is that's fine i'll ex i'll accept it whatever it is won't say i'll probably be the most excited about whatever it is i'll just be accepting of it but if it's something where it's a witch controlling it no i'm not there for that i would rather us get that parasite theory other than that witch stuff i don't i'm not into that if it happens it happens but again i would just be kind of like rather meh on the witch at, on the witch thing i would be more inclined to be upset about that than anything else they could probably come up with if it's a witch no that would probably make me even more upset than most of the, that would probably make me more upset than not seeing what they saw in jeepers creepers 3 when they touched that hand <laughs> but those are my thoughts on this and let me know what you guys think about that image that i showed you and this god oguan or ogon the god of iron you can do some digging on that symbol um, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and never miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, what I'll end up doing is I'll leave a link to the, uh, I'll leave some descriptions of what these symbols actually are for you guys to research them. But if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and never miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.